Jacqueline and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing the 100 rep bar sculpted leg challenge. It's exactly as it sounds, 100 reps every single day of the challenge and we are going to sculpt long, lean, beautiful bar legs. Today we have got rainbow brights. What are those? Okay, I'm going to show you right now. These are so good for lifting the butt and getting it so strong. So you're on all fours, elbow under shoulders, knees are under hips. You're going to reach the leg out to at a slightly of, at a diagonal, lift up, tap over, lift up, tap over. But that's two reps, okay? I'm not gonna torture you that much. I'm doing these with you too. So this is one rep, that's two reps, okay? So you wanna minimize the amount of wiggling of the hips and booty there. Alrighty, you ready? Here we go, I'm doing it all with you. Lift, tap, lift, tap. Make sure that you have downloaded the guide if you have not yet. It'll be up there on that little white bar that comes out. So make sure that you download the guide and follow along and check off every single day because it feels really good. Or if you're just popping in for the day and you just want a nice little booty lift, that's okay too. Because these exercises are so good for toning your entire booty area. So this one especially, we are working the glute med, we're working the inner thighs, we're working the hips. There's so many things that we're working right now that is going to not only help you feel like you have a perky butt, <laughs> but it's gonna also help strengthening your whole body. Having strong legs helps you run faster, helps you walk easier. It allows you to actually sit easier too, right? We're on our bums all day. So it's going to give you some ease when you're sitting. There's a lot of benefits to focusing on strengthening our glutes, not just the aesthetics. All right, how are you feeling? Ooh, are you burning already like me? Yes, okay. I'm keeping count for you. So you don't have to go as high. I know I was starting pretty overly aggressive with how high they, my leg was, but it will start to get lower as we get more tired, which is totally okay. Just make sure that you keep continuing to press your elbows into the ground. You continue to pull the belly in towards your spine and feel this long line happening from your um, toes to your head, okay? Feel length happening through the body. I know as we get tired, we try to get, kind of get shorter, but okay, we're gonna take a little breather, a little halftime breather. That was 50. These are intense, no doubt about that. Okay, we are in it together. And if you can't make it all the way through to 100, that's okay. That, that's where you start. We all begin somewhere, and then you can always come back to this video and build your way up. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo, now we're flying through these. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 20, yes. So good. 25, 26, 30. All right, let's go. Last 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, fast, right? Okay, here we go. Let's go straight onto the other side. Elbows under shoulders and let's do this. So I'm tapping on either side of my mat. I'm going to start high at first and then I know as I get more tired it'll start to lower and that's okay. But I want to at least start high here. Continue to pull the belly in and think about elongating from your tailbone to the crown of your head, all right? So don't get shorter in the belly or the low spine. Feel the spine elongating. So just notice where your joints are. Okay, shoulders over, um, elbows. Your right hip is over your right knee. 
please do a little check. Make sure you're not all the way over to the side there like that. You wanna make sure that you are square. You are going to then use your obliques in order to keep yourself nice and solid here. I know, starting to slow down, right? We'll do a little halfway rest as well here. All right, halfway. We're gonna take a little breather. Sometimes it does help to pound it out like this. Just helps with the circulation to get that lactic acid out of the body faster. So that helps to reduce the burn feeling that you're feeling right now. Okay, here we go. Let's do it nice and quick like we did the other side. Ready, last 50 and let's go. Strong in the leg though, okay? Make sure that it doesn't turn into a noodle up there. Make sure that it's nice and straight and strong. All right, like a bamboo stick. You wanna feel like it's just connected to your hip and it's just light, tapping from one side to the other, but it is solid and firm. So the more that you actually engage your quad, the more that you'll actually be able to engage your glute as well. So if your knee is bent, it's gonna feel a little bit different than if you actually keep the legs straight. I even feel my calves working a little bit. It's the entire leg. Here we go, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. We did it. Virtual high five. Great job. That was amazing. I am so proud of you. Make sure that you check in with me using hashtag stretchyfit100 so I can see your beautiful face and body doing all this amazing work. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here so I can continue to bring more free challenges and workouts to you. Now, if you are looking for an at-home workout program, then download my Stretchy Fit app. Join me in there and the rest of the community because you get a new workout every single day. Tons of variety with bar, yoga, hit workouts. It's amazing and you will stay consistent the way that the app is designed because you get a new workout every day and you get a program to check into and you can stay accountable. It is awesome and you will see your body goals come to life. It is amazing. Okay, I love you so much. Great job today and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.